is it on yet? Let's see. Let's hope this stream works. Am I on, guys? <laughs> if I'm on, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Because, you know, it always takes a couple seconds for everything to register. And it's always like a 15-second delay. Let me check. Oh, I see we already have a couple people in here waiting. So if you're just now uh, getting here, I'm Alicia Little John, a.k.a. Little John Yarn. Thank you for joining me on this live stream. It has been a while since I've gone live. So far, I'm not seeing anybody in the viewership yet. Here we go. Oh, it's finally working. Okay, I see one of my favorites, Deanna. How you doing? Yarn it out is back. Hey, thanks for joining us. And Crafty Chat Cafe. All right, so right now I'm in Pennsylvania. It is 2 o'clock. What time is it where you're loaded, located right now? So let's see. Oh, I'm getting all the thumbs ups. Thanks. Thank goodness. All right, so... The reason why we're here today, we're going to be talking about my favorite craft gadgets. If you know anything about my channel, I do tons of craft gadget reviews. I buy things that you might have thought about buying in a craft store and was like, eh, I don't know, it's too expensive. See, now that I have my own YouTube channel, I can just buy those things because, you know, I'm doing it for all of us so you don't have to buy things. So I'm going over some of my favorite craft gadgets. And before we get started... As usual, I always like to mention Super Chat. Super Chat is a way to help um, donate to my channel so I can continue giving you information like this every single week and coming out with patterns. You'll see a little dollar sign to this side of your screen or if you're on a desktop or down below if you're on a mobile device. If you click that, usually devices go off in the background, but I found out my app hasn't been working. So, but if you do donate it, I would appreciate and when you do, I give a cheers. So let's see what's going on in the chat right now. We got Victoria Price. She says it is one o'clock where she's at. We got Nettie. She says hi from Bonnie in Scotland. Wow. Thanks for joining us from Scotland. And J Hook Crochet is here. J Hook Crochet, also known as Reggie. She is also a YouTuber. She helps out on all of my live streams and I appreciate it so much. But she has her own YouTube channel. So when you get a chance, go and subscribe to her channel. So. Let's get straight into it. We're not going to dilly-dally. Usually I have a whole script for these whole things, but I didn't write anything up. So one of my first favorite things is these finger lit gloves. You might have heard me talk about it in a previous live stream. I did a review on this maybe around last November. Absolutely amazing gloves. They're a little bit tricky to put on. Let's see if I can put them on without struggling. Here we go. Nope, here we go. I think I just put them on inside out, but you can get the uh, drift of it. And you can, usually these are supposed to be on the outside of your finger. And you can use these as you crochet. If, let's say, the power goes out or, or your husband's in a room and you don't want to wake him up while you crochet, you can go to the corner and just keep the lights off and crochet in the dark with these little things right here. So I definitely recommend those. I had a screen to pull up. You know, I'm always fearful of showing you my uh, screen because last time that happened, the audio went out in my uh, video. So let's see what's going to happen when I pop up the uh, display capture. Let me know if the audio is working. There we go. There we go. Is the audio still working, guys? Give me a thumbs up if the audio is still working. All right, we've got them still working. So I'm going to show you some of the things. Where are we at? Ooh. I was supposed to do these all in order. Here we go. Here's the first set of gloves. So you know exactly how much each one of these costs. Most of the items I review are affordable items. I'm not going to send you someplace to buy... Uh, $50 set of gloves that cost so much money, but I got these myself on Amazon for only $9. You can search for them. There's a whole bunch of versions of these, but these were one of the cheapest ones I found and they're great. So here we go. Let's hop back into the next one we're going to go over. Here we go. Oh, this one is my absolute favorite. Favorite. I always say um, if you're in color incompetent like myself, 
I can't find to put like three colors together to make a beautiful pattern. Whenever I'm making a pattern, I usually have uh, my husband or my daughter put some like yarn pieces together so I can figure out how to uh, work this. So I'm going to show you a clip from one of my old videos to tell you exactly what this is. So, because I give you camera angles that I can't give you in person. Here we go. Instructions, and it says to arrange three to four colors together next to each other and view it through this little kaleidoscope. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to get my yarn colors together. Let's see if I can look at all this mess on the table. Scoop. Let's see. It's in film right here. My three colors together. Let me lower the camera a little bit more. And I'm supposed to just peer through. Oh, my God. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. This Okay, I'm going to have to get this at a better angle so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. All right, I'm going to pause the video and switch to an angle, excuse me, angle where you guys can see also. Okay, according to the instructions, you take three to four colors. I just picked any random colors. And you place them all next to each other so they pretty much intersect. There we go. Well, let me take this uh, purple one out. I'm going to do these three colors. All right, so now I'm going to try to place this in my camera. Can you guys see that? Look at that. You can see what your pattern will look, up, look like worked up before you even start. Excuse the white in the background. Since I can't angle this perfectly, you're getting some of the poster board. But when I'm looking through it, all I can see is actual just the three colors that I have listed. So this is, let me see. If, oh, there it is. Now you can see it a little bit better. How cool is that? You can see your work before it's even start. Okay. Let me see if I can bring my face back up. How cool is that little thing? Where did I put it? I can never put colors together. I just can't seem to match. When I was a little girl, my mom used to uh, talk about me like, why can't you match your clothes? Ugh. All right. All you have to do is take three colors let them intersect. This is a telescope. It's almost like a kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope has pieces inside that forms the shape. This, a telescope, is just glass. It takes the shapes from around it and creates a pattern. So you can kind of imagine what your um, item is going to work up to be ahead of time. So I definitely recommend one of these. If I, when I did this review, if anybody's watching, have anybody ever purchased one of these? All right, let's see what's going on in the chat. <laughs> J Hook Crochet says, I love that specific gadget so much. So do you have one of these too? I couldn't live without it. Oh, Nicole Warden, how are you? <sighs> Nicole, I've known you. You've been in my uh, Little John Yarns group from pretty much day one, the beginning, even before I even started my YouTube channel. So yay, thank you for joining me. You've caught me on my live. Let's see, everybody's talking about that's cool. So I'm going to go into the very next one. Let me bring back up my display capture again. Here we go. So next, we already did the gloves. I showed you the telescope, also known as the color scope. Remember, super cheap. I'm not putting anything super expensive on this list. I like little fun gadgets. All right, the next one. Look how cute this is. When I first purchased this, I did not give it a five yarn ball review because at first I wasn't understanding exactly how it worked. But once I did, I absolutely fell in love with it. I didn't realize how many crochet hooks that I had that I, all the markings were fell off. Let's see if I have something to use it with. This one is a five millimeter crochet hook. All you got to do is put it in a little slack right there and it fits perfectly. So if your things are wore out or you're like me and you have a whole bunch of these little plastic ones and there's no thing on it, you can use one of these and check out the little cute nose. This nose right here, you can cut your yarn. Me, I'm the type, I always forget to have scissors. So this is nice to have. If I don't have that, I just break it in half. And what else is on here? You can also do your gauge swatch. Because ladies and gentlemen, the ones who do my patterns in my newer videos, I'll always put a gauge swatch. So before you start your pattern, please do a gauge swatch. Maybe this little cute elephant will help you to remember to do that. And it's super cheap. I forget the price that I've seen it on, on Amazon. What was it? Like 
super cheap. Let's see who's in the chat. Uh, Adri Adriana uh, Jones, I hope I pronounced that right. You said you have one of those. These are this one. Which one do you have? If you don't, anybody, I all these links um, for these items are going to be down in the description box below. I do get an affiliate commission if you do click on the links and you purchase it. It's something like 3%. But I'm not trying to force you into buying these. Out of all of the products that I'm going to mention here today, this little gadget is my absolute favorite. I probably should have saved it for last. Mm. But, oh, we got Gigi the Crochet Queen, another uh, crochet YouTuber. She says, hi, how you doing? Yarn it out. Just switch the computer so I can see the gadgets better. All right. Oh, Nicole Warden, I bought this one. Uh, per your advice, it's a great gadget and has a yarn cutter. Uh, you must be talking about this one actually like it so I'm talking fast it's been a while we're gonna move on to the very next gadget I want to take you back to the screen hmm what's next ah uh, this one I did not specifically buy this from Amazon I bought my version of this bag on wish It's one of my wish gadget reviews Mine was purchased for only $6, but when I searched on, you can't exactly link stuff back from which, and when I searched for cheaper ones on Amazon, this was the cheapest version that I came up with, and for the price, it's still not bad. Let's see, but if you can go on Wish and get it for $6, I definitely recommend that. Let me show you mine. I have stuff in it right now. It's just a simple bag like this. It doesn't look like much. I don't want to stand up because I'm always, uh, my husband calls it my YouTube wardrobe. From the top up, I look real nice. From the bottom down, I look real casual. So, but I don't care. You all guys don't mind. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> I usually used to take this to the bus stop while I was crocheting. I would put the yarn inside the bag and you can feed it through the hole right here. You don't have to feed it through the hole because some people complain about, oh, you have to have your pattern in here the whole time. I'm nothing doing anything more than a hat, but you have your yarn inside, the yarn comes through the hole, and you can just crochet as you go, and the yarn comes out super easy. And since there hasn't been any school or any bus stop for the past, like, I don't know, five months, it's became my storage bag of all my other uh, crochet gadgets and things like that. So for $12.99, the link that I put on uh, in the description box, I wouldn't say it'd be worth it's worth it for $12.99, but if you can find a similar bag just like this, that's cute, do it. I mean, a grocery bag works just as fine, but you know, I just like something cute and you can put your hooks down inside. Do I have anything? Okay, I thought I might have had some wonderful gems lost inside from before. Oh, Elena Miller. I will be buying the color scope from the Addie's Craft Store as it is $8.99 also, but they always have sales, so I will wait till it's 50% off and get all things always completely free shipping. Thank you for the tips. Uh, I was about to say, maybe we should put, maybe I'll have to put that in the link in the description afterwards, annies.com. I mean, uh, Amazon has it for $8.99, but if you're going to get a whole bunch of crafts, I would go to Annie's for $8.99 and get a whole bunch of other stuff on sales. And I didn't realize they always have stuff for 50% off. So that was an excellent tip. Oh, before I get on to the next one, did you notice my wine box is down here? I had to shift around my uh, room. I started to record videos for my online, uh, how to make money with crochet online. I'm finally starting a course. I'm finally putting it together. I've been filming all the material. So therefore I had to make my background look a little bit nicer. That's why you notice the bookshelf is not white. Looks clean and all my yarn is organized on one side. Hmm. Nancy Bluebell, that's a pretty name. Oh, that bag looks so handy. What a good idea. What else do we got? Nanny Bluebell. Oh, Sam Carson again. You really do give great ideas for handy things. I had to get three more of those kaleidoscopes things you showed months ago. A friend wanted one too. Like I said, that is my absolute favorite. Oh, uh, and I don't know if I was just mentioning about my wine box. I don't drink coffee. This is definitely wine in my cup. So if you're drinking right now, put in the chat, what are you drinking? And a cheers to you all. Hmm. All right, let's get into the very next item on the list. Let's see. 
Uh oh, I did not pull this out. Uh oh. Well, these little finger uh, yarn counters or finger row counters, they're absolutely adorable. I don't believe I bought mine from Amazon. This was a buy I received from Wish. It was probably maybe two or three dollars cheaper, but this is one of the cheapest ones that I found on Amazon. Oh, let me go back to my face. You're going to watch me dig through the bag for a second. This is the one thing I forgot to bring up. Where is it? This is my box here full of stuff I already reviewed. Things that I have to give. Oh, here it is. Thank goodness. This is the box. I know it looks messy, but with giving all these gadgets that I buy, I always have like giveaways. Since it's starting to hit upon the winter season, I know it's like 100 degrees now, but for me, uh, the winter season starts for like in August, September. I'm going to start doing my giveaway. So all these things I review, I don't keep. I eventually give away. But back to the finger row counter. Isn't this adorable? All you have to do is put it on your finger and crochet. I'm not going to lie. I don't crochet with this on my finger at all. What I do, I have it near me while I crochet. Once I get to the end of the row, I click, oh, I click the button. And it goes up. If I want to reset, is this the other side? I reset it. Simple as that. And if you put this off to the corner, it's going to remember exactly which row you was on. So you don't have to be like, oh, it's shut off. Even if the screen shut off, power saver or whatever it is, your row is still going to be accounted for. Uh, Juna, I, I think I'm pronouncing your right name right. I always mess it up. You said McDonald's sweet tea. Cheers. Oh, where's my cup? That's what you're drinking on. Anybody else? Did I miss anybody else's drink? And I forgot to cheers you too. Nancy, drinking Coke at the moment. Those finger counters are amazing. Yeah, I have another one that I haven't done a review on yet. It's not a finger counter, but it looks like one of those uh, what coaches would wear or when you want to uh, count your laps, how many you did. It's not electronic, but those are just as good too. And I think you can get them for like $2. They're super cheap. Uh, um, Delphine, oh, Daphne, I pronounced it wrong. I find those row counters at uh, Do Dozio's for a dollar fifty. That is not a local store in Pennsylvania. I hope I pronounced that right. For one fifty, ooh, that's super cheap. Yvonne, <laughs> she says she's drinking water. It's very hot outside. Yeah, it's super hot here right now. I'm not gonna have my live stream go super long because I don't have central air, and right now I'm in my living room and it's burning up. So we're going to see how long this lasts. All right, now that we got the row counters, let's move on to the very next one. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, I didn't pull this one out. Well, I, while I'm digging through the background, you can look at this picture. I, once again, these, this is super cheap. I didn't buy this from Amazon. I bought this from Wish for $11. It took like a month and a half to get here. It's not the best wine, um, yarn ball winder in the world, but it's handy. I've never had one before and it does the job. Let me show you mine. Here we go. This little thing, it's super cheap. It's a little bit wonky, but I've been able to like save so much yarn and realize I don't need to go yarn shopping. I have cakes and cakes of yarn. You ever have that big, huge uh, scrap yarn bag just sitting around just tangled full of yarn? And like, I'm going to get to it. One day I decided to sit down. I pulled this bad boy out and I made like 30 cakes of yarn. And I realized I had so many things and crafts that I can probably make from the yarn that I already had that was sitting in the bottom of my uh, garbage bin. Well, yarn garbage bin, not a real one. So one of these, one of my favorites on my list. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, Nettie says, I got my stitch counter free from Hobby Craft with my order. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Do, do, do. Let's see. Oh, we have more real blind stitch and creations. How do how do you Alicia? Oh, how do you do Alicia? Good afternoon, everybody. What are you guys favorite scarves and crochet? What are your favorite thing that scarves and to crochet for winter? Oh. 
I forgot to mention somebody. I got happy mail. I don't get happy mail too often, but I got happy mail from Black Ribbon Studios. I mentioned her in my top 21 uh, black crochet uh, artists, YouTubers, and designers. And she sent me this card. I hope you don't mind me reading it. She says, hi, Alicia. You are a boss, babe. Thank you so much for including me in your directory of uh, black crochet designers and YouTubers. I am forever grateful. Your yarny friend, Denise, Black Ribbon Studios. Thank you so much for sending me happy mail. I usually, oh. I didn't forget the edit. Yours was moved because I had to um, film, from, film from my online course. Everybody's items that um, I receive or cards, I'm going to start putting back here to show my appreciation. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't think it's in a camera view. But once I'm done filming this class, all this will go back to normal. Hmm. Okay, where are we at? Oh, I'm so far behind. J Hook Crochet. I got my bond, ball winder and swift set from Wish for um eight dollars, and it's perfect. Some people hate Wish, and some people love Wish. It's a gamble when you shop there. But some of the things that I've got for super cheap was amazing. Uh, look, this wasn't going to be a video about the items I hate from Wish, but this item right here I hate from Wish. I'm going to have this a giveaway because I don't want items just to be thrown away and be wasted. But this is like a Tunisian uh, blank Afghan crochet set where the hooks are extreme, not the hooks, but the, uh, there's, I don't know how to describe it, but you can put a lot of loops on these hooks, these wires when you do Tunisian crochet. But the hooks itself, I don't know if you can see this, wait, turn were absolutely horrible. Can I, I can't turn it. Ugh. Maybe I got, maybe I got to put it, there we go. The hooks are just a cliff. You know how hooks are supposed to go down and up? Like a hook, it goes down and over. It looks like a P. These were not able to grip onto any hooks, but when I was looking on them on Wish, they look absolutely gorgeous. And I'm like, oh, these are so exciting. I can't wait to buy these and use them, but I wasn't even able to make a stitch. But eventually, I think I'll give these away to somebody doing a giveaway. Maybe they can work with it and file it down and see if they can figure it out. I absolutely hated it. Uh, here we go. Marianne says, drinking Pepsi. I'm waiting on some stitch markers to help me with your easy jumper. You help me with, you help me with, should get them tomorrow. Ooh, thank you. Well, thank you for doing the easy, do I have an easy jumper? Is that mine? That might be somebody else's. I don't think I have a jumper. Nettie, uh, you say, it's so weird hearing you talk about black channels and color, color of skin. I never saw you as black. I saw you as a crochet crochet and a person oh well thank you here we go martha says yes wish is a handy app i like it because you don't spend or waste too much money on items i've been disappointed as well one of the biggest items i was disappointed in you ever see on wish the lady that's holding this big huge uh ball of yarn i ordered that and mine was like this small it was horribly tiny all right let's go into the very next one Okay, don't worry, guys. I still have more to come. All right, this, I've always wanted to have one of these. I think when I bought mine, it seems like all the prices on Amazon right now are going up. I swear I bought mine for only $11 when I purchased this. But this little thing is handy, especially if after, like, using your uh, yarn winder and making cakes, you can put your yarn right on here and just, you don't have to worry about it skirting all the way across the floor. So if you can find it anywhere else for cheaper, definitely go look for it there. Where is mine? I put it somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's nothing fancy. It's just a hollowed out tube put on here. And when you're crocheting, it just spins. The yarn comes off smoothly. It doesn't scooch across the floor. I've seen, when I was looking for one of these, I've seen other brands, I believe I gave you the correct one, had, would slide across the floor. If you had like a hardwood, not hardwood floor, like a carpet, it would slide. 
what they recommended was taking your glue gun. Where's my glue gun? That should have been on my list. I'm never without my glue gun. It's always in like shot of me. I'm surprised it's not close. But regardless, just take your glue gun, put some dots on the bottom, and it'll give it a little bit more friction so it won't slide around. So this one, definitely recommend. All right. Next one. And if we're lucky, I asked my husband to come on here. I was going to, and not right now, maybe if I can convince him and to interview about him, how he feels about my shopping habits. I do shop a lot. I don't shop a lot. I have a lot of yarn, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I did not have a uh, picture for this, but I do have the link below. Feet. If you're going to want to uh, display any of your items, I've always had so much trouble displaying my slipper patterns or shoes that I was going to sell. I would use myself as a model, but I would have to contort myself in such a way or I would have to beg somebody else like, can I please take a picture of your feet? And that's weird. So I decided to buy my own feet, which is also weird. If you're going to Google this, please be specific. <laughs> Because when I was searching for these, I got a lot of things that were feet and were inappropriate. There were gross things right there, but you can use your imagination and think of what was in the ankle of the foot. But check out this foot. It even has little perfectly painted fingernails. Look how gross. Oh, not gross. Well, I guess it is weird. It's made of silicone. I've modeled this. Oh, let me, here we go. I've modeled this in at least like four or five of my slipper pattern videos. And I usually make it look like me. I do a little Photoshop and make it a little bit match my skin complexion, but love it. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I use. Let's see if we can find the uh, patterns that I use for this. Here we go. We'll go to my channel. and search wait videos slippers okay this one is me that took forever to take that picture that is not me no wait that's a lot of ankle i think that is me this one not me. That's my uh, pose foot. Me, this one, definitely, that's my pose foot. Look how realistic that looks. So all these pictures right here where I took a picture of my foot, it was acrobatics just to get that picture just right. So if you don't want to have to bend over backwards, go buy yourself a silicone foot. And like I said, make sure you... Uh, Type in specifically what you want so you're not like creeped out. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Reggie says, J Ho Crochet, LOL. We should set him up with my husband and let them talk to each other about it. I must completely miss what you said before that one. Let me scroll up a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm going to pronounce this word wrong. Oh, your name wrong. Uh, Javez B. I'm so in love with your Julia hat. It's so classy and so 1920s. I'm a little bit obsessed about my uh, era. How can I put it? I love historic type hats. I love hats from the 50s, 40s, 30s, and 20s. They have like, I guess women wore hats more than, and just the way it looks so classy. So I have a couple tutorials like that. You can just Google Little John Yarns and Vince's Hats and you'll find me for the, more of those. Oh, we got a super chat. Wait, I see it lit up, but I didn't see who it was. Marianne. You have an easy sweater and uh, you answered a question yesterday because I was struggling with the width. So I was looking forward to trying to do it. Oh, I do remember you. Yeah, those sweaters. She was doing one of my, uh, okay, I'm not the greatest like sweater designer. When I'm making a sweater, I use the most basic patterns that anybody can use. 
for her she wanted to create a sweater that goes over top of her uh, shoulders so therefore I'm like you just keep crocheting until it's as wide as the part of the body that you want and that's it it's just a complete granny square when I'm making us any other sweaters I usually use two squares and two rectangles the two squares make the body the orange make the rectangles for the arms simple as that but everybody raise your cup and cheers to Marianne thank you so much Oh, Jay Hook says, I was responding to you interviewing your husband about your shopping habits. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Yvonne Miller. So over the rainbow, I, I'm Native American and I do see because the government is still trying to get rid of them. What did I miss the question before? Trying to get rid of what? But whatever it is, I support you. <laughs> Victoria Price says, cheers. All right. I think, hey, husband. Should I bring them over, guys? Do you have a second or are you busy? Uh, like you can have two minutes. In two minutes, you're going to meet Mr. Little John. He has his own thing because I do uh, Little John yarns. He likes to cook. He does Little John eats. My son told me he's going to grow up and have Little John cards. I guess all of us Little Johns aren't creative. We just really like our name. So therefore, we just put whatever we want to do right afterward, right after it. Okay, while we wait for him, I'll do some more of my crochet review items. All right, this one, I forgot to pull up. Where is the string for it okay i can't find a string for it this is uh for your wrist if you ever feel like your wrists are uh weak or like myself i use them so much even when i lay at night i feel like they're not strong enough to even support my big head when i'm like laying down on it i feel like i need to build up the strength this little device right here all you do is put in your hand oops, get this way and you shake it there is a string that goes for it but i don't know where it is i lost it let's see if i can get it started without it I sure can't. No, I can't get it started. When it starts going, it lights up and you can feel like the resistance in your hand because there's like a little gyroscope in it. So therefore you feel like the resistance and you can work it like this the whole time. I know I look crazy doing it, but you feel so much while you're working out. And if you're uh, coordinated enough, you switch hands with it. I wish I can uh, explain what it feels like inside. You ever had a, uh, like a tin or a circle that's something that's circle and you put a penny inside and you shake the penny inside, you can feel the penny going round and round and round and round. That's kind of what the gyroscope feels inside and it creates a force within your hand and you're building muscles as you're kind of shaking it back and forth. I don't think I put the link in the description box, so I am going to give you the uh, exact name right now. Here we go. This is called the Summer Max. It has this big, huge, bulky guy on the front. But there's a whole bunch of gyroscope type things like this. You don't have to get this one specifically. Next, if you have a dollar store wherever you are or a 99 cent store, this headlamp, let's see if I can put it on without messing up. I'm just, just going to mess up all the hair. There we go. This is still. So when you're crocheting, you can have your own little headlight on. Let's say the lights go out. I think it also flips up. Oh, I put it on upside. Nope. See, look. Now I can get busy. It's up. Let's put it down on the work. <laughs> this only cost me a dollar at my local Dollar Tree not expensive there's more like this on amazon that has the cool little glasses i think i'm gonna get some of those oh my husband's coming you coming over I suppose, sir. be careful the wires and the feet he has to be careful the feet come on sugar let's see i have questions for him let's see oh, this is my husband mr little john let's see if here we go before I hop into his questions, have I missed anything? Okay, uh, Elena, my name is Hebrew and it's pronounced, and the pronunciation of my name actually sounds like Elia. Oh, oh, Eliana, Eliana, oh, pretty. Here we go. 
Nettie says, I love the look of the ball thing. Uh, what was the name of it? The name of it was Summer Max. T oh, hey, TDSM. Um, I love my headlamp. It's useful for tons of things. All right. So let's, let me. Mm. How do you feel? Okay. You're in front of 124 people right now. Oh, I lost the interview questions. Here they are. All right. What did you think when I first came to you about, you know, I want to start my own yarn business? Did you think I was going to be able to do it? Of course. Of course. Of course. Did you ever imagine it would be uh, this big, like, would be like a money producer? Honestly. Um, did you think, when I'm like, baby, I'm going to make money with yarn? No. <laughs> Man, you can make money off anything, so, you know. You... That is true. It's It's 2020. I always tell people, if you have a dream and a goal, you don't have to be forced into doing a job that you don't want to have. You can be whatever you want. When I was little, somebody asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I didn't know. It wasn't invented yet. Now I can make money doing what I love, which is YouTube, creating patterns. But when I talk about that stuff, I go off on a rant. You don't want to hear me talk about that stuff. Oh, we got a whole bunch of, uh, Martha says, hi, Mr. Little John. What's up, people? <laughs> we got TDSM, uh, Gigi the Crochet Queen. Uh, oh, Crochet Canada. Uh, you're Rosalie. Okay, I didn't know, put your name with your crochet channel, but everybody says hi. And there's my Lori Murphy. Hello, Mr. Little John. Love your wife. Lori Murphy, she's one of my, I know I shouldn't have favorites, but she's one of my favorites. It is what it is. Shout it out is. to Lori. Hi, Lori. All right. Okay. So, uh, what do you think about all of my yarn? Cause you know, I just don't have a little bit of yarn. It's, it's everywhere. I mean, is it, does it bug you? Are you ever like, man, no, I wish you wasn't. It don't get on my nerves. You know, I'm a simple person. So I got my own little area and you've got your own little section and is what it is. Where's like the craziest place you ever found some of my yarn? Mm, in my hair sometimes when I wake up <laughs> in the morning. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, if you guys have any questions for Mr. Little John, you can pop in too. All right. Do you remember the most amount of yarn that I bought at one time? Um, we went to some place about two hours up north <laughs> and it was a big yarn sale and i think she came home with over a hundred spindles of yarn uh, not spindles skeins, skeins or skeins or balls skeins. of yarn yes it's close use close use close. close he loves me he's close okay see oh let me tell you about that when he took me it was up in uh punxatani punxatani they i guess whatever type of yarn store was going out of business or whatever they had this, it, all the yarn was like 50 cent a skein of yarn. I swear, it was like me and 30 other women, women and maybe like one guy. As soon as they opened them gates, we like ran for the yarn. There was like yarn and bags. I'm tossing stuff in. I wasn't even care if anything was matching. It was the most magical day of my life. And my husband, because I don't like to drive. <laughs> he drove me all the way there just to get yarn. Oh, yeah, plus I got some seeded watermelon off the armors too, so we'll, it was all good. It was all good for the trip. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Oh, Jacob Crochets, he looks like a man of many words. I do. It's all trapped in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Uh, Nicole says, It's hard to live in the shadows of an incredible wife. It is. I mean, it's tough to be me. <laughs> okay, uh, question. I don't know. I'm going to admit something to you right now. In front of all these people do you know i sneak yarn into the house sometimes oh i believe it yeah because sometimes because you guys can't see the yarn that's stashed on these walls that's on these walls i have so much yarn i get kind of embarrassed if you're a yarn hoarder you understand i'll leave it in my car for a week or i'll put it downstairs in a box just so you don't you know you still love me that. yes okay Last one. Oh, and then we'll uh, get him. Oh, Jay Hook Crochet. He makes an effort. He does. Oh, wait. Here's some questions. Dieta, have uh, Mr. Little John ever tried crochet? No. 
You want to learn? Have... Oh, what would you yeah. guys think of a video of me trying to teach my husband how to do crochet? My fingers ain't good all like this. <laughs> no, you don't need to. It's, it's one hand that works it. The other one's like stable. I... These ladies will contest. I'm a good teacher. I can help you out. Okay. Uh, TDC says, what do you do over on Little John Cooks? Does he have a YouTube channel too? No, not yet. My wife keeps trying to tell me I need to get my own channel because I do like to cook. I cook all types of food, vegan food, uh, regular food, plant-based food, anything you can want, I can make it. He's the most amazing cook. I can't, I'll burn water. I can't cook. When I was growing up, my um, aunties would say, how are you ever going to find a man if you can't cook? I found a man that can cook anybody under the table. Like we're gonna have uh, grilled chicken fajitas tonight with some watermelon uh, margaritas. Watermelon margaritas. Everybody, cheers to Mr. Little John for making well me, not us. Watermelon margaritas. Oh, and we're making moon pies. Moon pies. Moon tonight. pies in a fire pit tonight. So that'll be fun. Let's see. Any more questions for uh, Mr. Little John? Oh, uh, people are contesting. I'm a very good teacher. Eight smiley, eight smiley lady, awesome husband. It is wonderful to have a supportive partner. He's the most supportive partner. And one day I will get him onto a YouTube channel. I, I got you, husband. I, I got the talents to grow you. And everybody says cheers. I'll oh, let cheers. you go. I'll, you look uncomfortable. I'm going to get him back. Bye. <laughs> so you got to meet Mr. Little John. Everybody cheers to my husband. <laughs> Victoria says, what time should she be here? I uh, will be starting around probably 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, Marshall says, he needs to have a YouTube channel. Cooking channels are very popular. Staying in the uh, staying in is making people want to cook. It makes me want it. Oh, I got, what's the other side? It makes me want to eat a lot. I know people have been talking about the uh, quarantine pounds. It's true. I'm putting on some quarantine pounds. Like I said, thank goodness the camera's uh, from here below. Uh, TDSM says, I can see who your son resembles. He looks nothing like me. My son looks exactly like my husband. When I uh, put a picture of my son and my husband next to each other from uh, like the same age, I nothing like me. I think he has like my earlobe or something. That's about it. Okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Little John, TDC51 uh, says, what's your favorite vegan recipe? Jackfruit. Oh, he Jackfruit cooks with, with I don't, he cooks, he likes to cook with oyster mushrooms. Not my favorite. I'm not a mushroom fan, but he is a master with jackfruit. If you never had jackfruit, you don't know what you're missing. Jackfruit has the texture of a uh, chicken. chicken. When people bite into it, they're like, this is meat. Most uh, vegan or vegetarian food, it has that mushed up texture taste. Like it was re-put that back, blended up and re-put it back together. But the texture of jackfruit cooked itself is meaty the fruit itself is somehow meaty and it absorb whatever type of flavor and taste you put into it for my daughter's uh, graduation last year he made these jackfruit sliders they look like little chicken sliders people were thrown that it wasn't meat could you know how uh, people who refuse to eat healthy food are like i'm not going to touch it they were just flabbergasted crazy all right let's see Marion says, I sneak yarn too. Although it's my money I make from selling items. Right, I know. Me too. I, I do make money. My husband has never told me like, woman, you need to stop buying all this yarn. I mean, my kids might talk about me, but my husband, he's never said that. When we go out, he knows our date nights. It's funny how your date nights change from when you're in your 20s to when you're like in your 40s. Your date nights, for us, we like to go out. Maybe we'll go to a movie or dinner or something like that. Pre, 
virus, of course, will go to a dinner movie like that, followed by some good thrifting. And he knows I always have to go to some type of craft store. Every single date night, craft store is involved. So I appreciate that. Let's see. Well, the copper fixed gloves helps when you crochet. Are those like the compression light -like gloves? I think I might have to uh, purchase those to review. Are they, let's see, I do have, if we're like talking about more of a compression glove, the think is made, is it made by Lion Brand or Clover? I'm not sure. Does anybody recognize this glove? If you do, comment below. I love these gloves. It's not going to uh, save your hands from crocheting, like, but it's something, it's like a preventative method. That's what I say, preventative caution, preventative, but you know what I'm talking about use this i don't know what it does but i feel like it can crochet just a little bit longer the compression feels good on my hand definitely recommend these oh susie q says you have a wonderful husband i do let's see oh Gigi says my neighbors have a jackfruit tree they are creepy looking to me i didn't like it i have found i haven't found any i like to me, I like the uh, jackfruit itself when it's the fresh, but my husband doesn't like the fresh. He fresh ones. He gets them canned, but I don't know. It's the way he cooks it. I wish I was a chef and could explain the magicness that he puts in it and the flavors that he infuses in every single bite. He's a man of little words, but if I can bite into that, I can describe. It's just the most magical thing. You just have to try it. You have to find the right cook. He always said, no food is disgusting. You just have to find the right cook to cook it. He told me that once. When I first met him, I was 29 years old and I didn't eat not one vegetable. Vegetables were disgusting. Growing up, my mom fed us canned vegetables and I just despised it. I didn't realize I prefer the fresh vegetable, but I found a man that knew how to cook it good and I fell in love with all type of vegetables. I eat any vegetable except for, I guess it's not a vegetable, except for mushrooms don't care for those okay oh left this right crochet another crochet uh youtuber subscribe to her channel she says hey alicia most wondrous lady oh you're the most wonderfulest lady <laughs> gloria diaz says uh, gloria diaz says i've got arthritis in both hands specifically in the thumbs those compression gloves help did anybody figure out what uh the name of these are I couldn't. Oh, Deanna says you should also wear compression socks for when you're sitting when you're crocheting. I never thought about that. As I'm sitting here now, because it's hot, I can feel my uh, feet <laughs> feeling uh, very uncomfortable. And maybe I need to try that. Nicole Warden says, I'm guessing those with the uh, new lighted gloves are the combo in my future. Oh, those gloves, they're, I think they're also called, like, for fishers use it. They're fishing gloves. Love them. Oh, and it comes in a pack of two. It's just not one. I didn't feel like trying to fiddle with it to put on because that would take so long. Here we go. Terry says, they have these exercise balls for the hands. I've been crafting, crafting for decades, and they help. Can you, uh, you can find them on Amazon. Ooh. I have a, a, these aren't compression gloves, but these are exercise gloves. Where are they? I have so many crappy gadgets. Are they over here? Here they are. Oh, Ooh, let me take this off. A little bit warm right now. But I do definitely need one of those uh, stress balls. I want to get one of them clampy things too. Now that I'm clamping, they look like a triangle. These you can find on Amazon. You can probably find them in Walmart or whatever big box store you have locally. Rubber bands work too. <laughs> I think I did a review on these. I'll, after this goes on a replay, I'll link all those down below. But to exercise your hands. It feels a little bit uncomfortable. I didn't, when I reviewed these, they didn't even, I don't believe I gave them even a four. I gave them like a three because it's weird to put your hands in. I have extremely small hands and fingers. So for anybody else, you probably have trouble to get your hands in here. 
I told them to just flip it inside out and do this. It works the same. Oh, Nicole Warden says they're by Lion Brand. Thank you so much. I just remember it having like the a green or a blue top to it. I didn't know if it was Clover or Lion Brand. So thank you so much. Brandy says, thank you for answering my question because I suffer from um, Carpo and I love to crochet uh, and just got some copper fit. I need to get some of that. I have to try it. Here we go. All right. Do I have any more cool gadgets that I love? This is not a gadget. This little, I should get one that's open. Do I have one that's open? Yes. No. I'm such a hoarder. I feel like I can't open a new one until I find the one that's already open. Okay, I'm just going to open one. Which one do I want to open? I'll open it. Oh, silver one. That's silver gold. These little wires I got from my local uh, Dollar Tree. I'm sure they sell them anywhere. This. I believe you get how many feet? Seven feet? Let's see. Six feet of wire. I put this in the brim of my hats. I have this one hat. It looks like it's uh, the Humphrey Bogart, but not Humphrey Bogart. Who's the girl that was in that uh, movie or whatever? One of them big, huge hats that kind of tip to the side. I put this around the brim of the hat and I was able to mold it perfectly. Oh, uh, we got a super chat. We get from uh, Sandy. Thank you so much. I don't know where my cup is. She gave us a super fan emoji. I'm going to give you a cheers. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, it's getting hot in my living room. So we're going to wrap this up soon. But these little wires, I've made a finger yarn holders. Do I have one already made? I do, but it's been flattened. With this, you ever seen the finger yarn guys that you can get on Amazon for like for a pack of five, it's like $7.99 or whatever like that. You can make it yourself with these little wires. Let's see, this one has been kind of squished because it's been sitting in the bottom of a box. I wasn't prepared to speak about this. I just made it, you put it on your finger and you can crochet and the yarn goes with it. You don't have to buy an expensive finger yard guide. Oh, that, oh, that nasal, a finger yard guide. You can buy one of these and you can make like 30 of them or you can put this in the brim of a hat. I love these better than any other uh, floral wire because usually the floral wire that I used to buy in the past was that thin, uh, green, ugly stuff. Absolutely hate those. So definitely recommend that. So get them at your local Dollar Tree. Oh, TDSM19, has anybody used the DIY, uh, DIY glow in the dark yarn crystals review yet? Uh, dark Dark Crystal Review. Are you talking about the Lion Brand Glow in the Dark Yarn? I just seen that pop up on uh, YouTube. Who was doing the Bag of Day Crochet? And I went, because I want to do a review too. I went to buy it on the Lion Brand website. It is sold out. I really want to get my hands on that. Like, it's getting ready for like the Halloween time. So if I get like advanced on that, that'd be so awesome. And plus, you guys, you know, you can see what it looks like up close. Sierra, what is your brand of hook do you find most comfortable when crocheting for long periods of time? I, I'm about to be a trader. I'm glad everything I love is like within like arm reach of me. Because I wasn't going to talk about crochet hooks. My favorite crochet hook of all time is Susan Bates. I am a Susan Bates girl through and through. There's something about a Susan Bates crochet hook. It's in line. This is the plastic ones. Okay, there we go. You can see it now. Let me put it close to my hair. How the hook is just deep set in. I love that because I do not like boy crochet hooks. I feel like the Susan Bates hooks can just snatch any hook up perfectly. But I was I'm starting to do uh, hook reviews, and I have a brand new favorite hook. Uh, what's it called? The Clover, Clover Amore. You guys told me and told me about the Clover Amore, and I finally tried it out. Hands down, I love this crochet hook. I never thought I would give up on Susan Bates. 
but just in case I was thinking maybe it's because it has a nice soft base that's better so I bought a Susan base that was similar to a Clover Moore it got my typical head shape and this soft base there's something about this clover more it is lightweight in my hand it doesn't feel like anything it feels like when i'm crocheting it's a part of my hand if that makes sense i wish i would have left the link down below but you ladies and gentlemen are smart clover amore the most comfortable crochet hook to crochet with i've changed sides i still love susan bates don't get me wrong this is my heart but if I'm putting in work, if I'm going to get a sweater, I'm doing this. Uh, J-Hook Crochet, what will you use to glow in a dark yarn for other than Halloween costume? I don't know. Maybe uh, for a little kid's hat, you know what I mean? So that'd be pretty cool. I'm sure my husband would love, not husband, my son would love for a hat that glows in the dark or maybe a pillow. My son would probably absolutely love, a, my 19-year-old daughter would love a pillow that glue in the dark. It's a good idea. Hmm. Uh, uh, Brittany says, I love clover hooks. Oh, bitch and stitches. Thanks for another great live chat, Alicia. Road call life, and I enjoyed meeting Mr. today. Oh, he's a good guy. <laughs> I enjoyed showing him off today. Let's see. Lori Murphy, I love the clover hooks. The only ones I like and use. Like I said, I felt like a trader when I first tried this out. Because I knew I was always... I bought almost all the crochet hooks you guys told me I should buy. I bought the... Haven't tried it yet. The Tulip uh, Edmo. Am I pronouncing that right? I still need to try that out. I purchased, of course, the Clover Amore. This is the Susan Bates... Well, I don't soft touch this one. Okay, you guys get a, a head start on this one. I can't wait to show you this one in a review. This is the weirdest crochet hook I have ever seen. Here we go. It is called London K. The hook is completely twisted. I'm like, why is this so special? But if, how do I hold mine? I hold my uh, pencil, pencil. I don't have a pencil grip. I hold mine like a knife grip. And the way it like molds to my hand, as you can see where my thumb hits the fold perfectly. And my hand just folds around a grip. If you are a pencil grip crocheter, I don't know how comfortable this is. But when I looked into this, I'm like, why is this so great? Why is this so comfortable? But once I tried it, I was like, oh my goodness. Once again, this is called the... You're probably wondering London K crochet hooks the only bad thing about these crochet hooks they're only come in size what size is this nine millimeter and up they're only huge crochet hooks so if you're like making a rug or something like is this sturdy enough for a rug I don't know I don't know I don't think I would use these for like a heavy rug or anything if you're working with like thick t-shirt yarn I don't know but if you're working with regular yarn I guess it would be nice but it feels good on a hand I can't wait to do a thorough review on this because it feels so good on a hand and the hook is just the way I like it that nice mm. <laughs> so you can snatch up all those stitches let's see oh Dieta says glow in a dark yarn would be fun to make for kids Sabrina Aguilera, glow in the dark uh, wrist uh, stretchies for walking uh, or jogging. Oh, that's a good idea. Consuelo says for runners, bikers who uh, work out in the dark. Good idea. <gasps> Sandra says she loves boy, and I'm also switching over to Clover. I, did, I mean, I'm not going to talk bad at you, bad about you. Boy, I don't know. I just never liked boy. Some people, it's like uh, either or, Susan Bates boys. For me, it was just too round. But I guess the Clover Moore, it's like the best of both war worlds. It's still round enough like a boy, but it's still sharp enough like a, a Bates. It's like a boy Bates baby. Say that 10 times fast. Okay. Do, 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 what am I missing? 
<laughs> Crafty Chat Cafe, Knife Drippers Unite. Yay, that's us. Mm, this smells good in there. My husband must be cooking. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this live chat. Um, I'm probably going to do a better, smaller, 10-minute review of all my favorite cafe craft gadgets so the next people who watch this won't have to watch a whole hour long of this video so guys thank you for joining me and i'll see you next week and hopefully we're gonna have an interview coming up in two weeks about graph gans from um shanna g she has her own youtube channel so be prepared for that i believe that'll be the 25th of july all right so stay tuned for that all right guys we'll see you all in the next video